A unanimous Fed raises the benchmark rate 75 basis points as anticipated and offers no sign that it is ready to stop tightening. The dot plot shows the median forecast for Fed funds next year, uh, at, by the end of this year rather, at 4.4 percent, which suggests about another 125 basis points over the next two meetings, which leaves a 75 basis point move at the next meeting in November on the table. In 2023, the median forecast anticipates no rate cuts, but one more 25 basis point move to 4.6 percent. For the year, the committee says uh, it was e evenly divided. Six saw 4.9 percent, six saw 475, and six saw 4.5. One member put the top rate next year and this year at just 4 percent. So there's still a possibility we see a lot more increases in 2023. The statement almost word for word the same as the one in June. Policymakers noting they are highly attentive to inflation risks and anticipate that the ongo anticipate ongoing increases in the target rate will be appropriate. There's a wide dispersion of forecasts for 2024 and 2025. The median suggesting that the Fed funds rate falls to 3.9 percent in 2024 and to 2.9% in 2025. That's because inflation takes longer to fall, not reaching the Fed's target until 2025, headline and core. This year, inflation headline 5.4%. Core is going to be 4.5%. Next year, headline 2.8%. And in 2024, 2.3%. Core 3.1% next year, 2.3% in 2024. Now, Fed officials also bumped up their unemployment forecast to a medium of 3.8 percent this year, 4.4 percent next year and in 2024, and 4.3 percent in 2025. Growth takes a big hit this year. Annual GDP marked down to just two-tenths of one percent from the 1.7 percent they saw in June. The economy will expand 1.2 percent next year, 1.7 in 2024, and reaches a 1.8 percent potential rate in 2025. Finally, as I mentioned, almost no change to the statement, just two words in the opening sentence. Recent indicators point to modest growth in spending and production. In June, they said those had softened.